All right, Danette, the whole crew, got to ask you guys a question. And you just tell me what you think about this, because you know how I am. I'm always pondering things. I'm trying to figure some stuff out. And what I wanted to ask you, you all about is uh, something that's going on in Ethiopia, in um, the northern region, and it's known as the Tigray, okay? I've been there many times. I've been, you know, I, like, when you think about the Tigray, I've been, you know, in Aksum, Lalibela, Adwa. I've been, I've been in Harar. I've been, you know, my mama's in Rama. I can look right over into Eritrea. Um, Dear Dawa, um, so, so many others. But, but here's my question I want to ask you all. I want you to think about this. Ethiopia is at war right now. Ethiopian government is at war with a portion of Ethiopia known as Tigray. Now, that's something we can wrap our minds around. Now, Eritrea used to be a part of Ethiopia. But there was conflict. The Eritrean um, nation broke off, and now you have Eritrea and you have Ethiopia. They're sovereign nations. Now, the current prime minister received a Nobel Peace Prize for lessening the conflict between Ethiopia and Eritrea. You following me so far? Like, good thing, okay, y'all shaking hands. They're doing it like that, okay. Now, at the very same time, Ethiopia is having a problem with Tigray. So the prime minister partners with who? Eritrea to attack who? The Ethiopians who are part of their own nation. I know what you're saying. Like, I saw it, you're like, huh? Okay, listen to this. I'm gonna give you an analogy. Imagine that the United States had a problem. And they had a problem with, um, say, New York. And they partnered with Canada to come in and attack New York on behalf of the conflict between the United States and New York. Exactly. You're like, why would you have a problem within your own nation and then go outside to another nation to have someone come in and attack your nation? Now, with that being said, there's been um, credible reports of the Eritrean soldiers coming in and looting and filling up camels with the property of the Tigray people who are Ethiopian. Now, with that being said, we've got to send a shout out to uh, President Joe Biden, who issued a strong statement saying that Eritrea should leave Ethiopia. It makes sense. And the war and the conflict should come to an end. That makes sense also. We have to all agree that rape is not acceptable. Famine is not acceptable. Using hunger as a weapon is not acceptable. Um, targeting folks who are fleeing for refuge is not acceptable. And so there are those who are saying none of those things are happening. And if they're not happening, then shouldn't we just put some sunlight and let, let people come in that are you know, neutral, independent, just come in and look and make sure that people are not being raped, people are not being starved. Um, I've actually spoken to individuals that, of course, like in Oxum, they've gone several months without electricity, without access to water, out, without access to medicine, and are holed up in their homes, afraid to come out because they're being shot on sight. There's a report that there were those who were seeking sanctuary inside of a church and then soldiers came, brought them all outside and shot them down dead inside, just like right out front. All of this stuff is taking place and if it's not, why not open up the doors and let the international community see what's going on? But again, my point is this. If you have an independent nation, the Eritreans, coming in, doing the fighting and the work against Ethiopians because there's this vision that Ethiopia should be one. Here's my next question. I know what you're saying. What could that question be? Here it is. You've got all these ethnicities, and they're all together. Guess what they call themselves? Ethiopians. So aren't you fighting for what you already have? Like, Ethiopia is comprised of all of these different ethnic groupings, 
And when you meet them and you see them, they generally say, I'm Ethiopian. So if you're fighting for that, you already have it, what are you really fighting about? As a matter of fact, the term Ethiopian is not indigenous to Ethiopians. This is what the Greeks call black folks. See, we gotta unpack a lot of this stuff. And again, we gotta keep our eyes on Tigray because again, rape, hunger, famine, targeting people who are fleeing for um, refuge is something that people of goodwill should all be interested in making sure is not taking place.